morning, uh, police were called to uh, Esplanade at Glenelg, where uh, reports of a missing person had been made. Uh, the person that's been missing is uh, a male of Nepalese background. His name is Nittal Gameri. He's 22 years old. Uh, he was the carer, or is the carer, of a young boy of about 10 years old. Uh, and they'd come down in the heat of yesterday afternoon. Uh, the child had been located uh, along the foreshore by uh, nearby residents, uh, and a search has been underway since the early hours of this morning uh, by land, sea and air, looking for the young man who's gone missing. Um, police continue to search this morning. Uh, we have uh, water police out with, along with the surf life saving and uh, sea rescue uh, out uh, on, on the water at the moment. We also have police door knocking and they'll be searching the sand hills uh, this morning as well. Do you believe the pair went for a swim? Uh, we believe they did. Uh, the young boy when he was located indicated by his appearance that he had been in the water. Uh, whether, the, uh, whether the adult had also been in the water we don't know at this point. Uh, his vehicle has been located along the esplanade here. Uh, and we continue to search a little bit wider as well. So we appeal to members of the public, if you've seen uh, the young boy, he's an Indian, about uh, 10 years old, and the Nepalese man, 22 years old, uh, late afternoon yesterday into early evening uh, along the area between Glenelg Marina and the West Beach uh, boat ramp. Uh, if you've seen anyone matching that appearance, please call 131444. Any information we can get would be of, of help. Thank you. How are things looking? I mean, as time goes on, uh, things aren't looking too good for this chap, are they? Well, we continue to search. We, we have a hope that he can be, f be found. Maybe he's uh, been um, uh, disorientated or something. We don't know at this point, but, but indications are that they were certainly in the water. Unfortunately, the young boy uh, has a disability and is unable to speak, so we're not able to get any information from him as to what actually happened. Uh, but any information would be useful to us at this point. Do you believe that the young boy was left stranded for several hours? Uh, we don't know anything about that. Uh, it may have been a short time, maybe a long time. Uh, the child was expected back home uh, early evening. And we didn't get the report until early hours, so there was a, a period of time that the child may have been on his own. Obviously, it was a distressing time for his family, not knowing where he was. Absolutely. Distressing for the family, distressing uh, for the relatives, and uh, we're working with them to, to try and locate uh, uh, the young man. Was the child in um, good health when he was found? Yes, the child's in good health. Do you believe there's any foul play here? No, we don't believe any foul play at all. There's, there's no indications of anything of that nature. The boy uh, has the disability, as we said, but there's no indications of, of any, any harm to him at all. This is a regular, he brings it down. Yes, yes, point. the young man is employed to care for the young, young person, so there's nothing untoward about them being together either.